What's going on, Shrew Gang? My name is Camden. I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'll be discussing the top three stock picks that are either widely seen as bullish or soon to be bullish in as early as the beginning of August, which is right now. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly run through each of the stocks since I want to keep it as short and as simple as possible for the viewers and the Shrew Gang. So of course, first on the list has got to be BlackBerry, ticker symbol BB. Right off the bat, just looking at the max chart, you can tell just based off of supply zones and demand zones, we are deep in a demand zone. Anybody buying stock at around this price and the overall long-term look of things is getting it at a discount. BB recently tied themselves into the security and software services industry, which is not the phone business industry anymore. And they focus deeply on the IoT, the, the internet of things technologies. They work alongside Volvo, and many other AV, EV companies as well with their BlackBerry QNX technology. This QNX technology is embedded into these vehicles, whoever they're working alongside with. And as of right now, to this day, there's currently 195 million vehicles that have this QNX software in the vehicle. Of course, this is as of June 21st, 2021. So, so it's been a month, a month and a half since then. We're unfortunately gonna have to wait until the next up and coming earnings, or maybe even before then, to get another true number, an updated number of how many vehicles that this QNX software is embedded in. They also recently just partnered with Amazon. I believe the department of Amazon is AWS, Amazon Web Services, to announce BlackBerry's own vehicle data platform. And they're calling this the BlackBerry IVY. On a side note, BlackBerry also owns around 30 to 38,000 patents under their belt. Now I'm being conservative here. Usually patents are a little bit over 100,000 per patent, but let's say each patent is around $100,000 in value. You can do the math yourself once again, but this is billions of dollars, a few billions if you will. And this is only in patent value. And in the recent price activity as well during this long consolidation phase, so buyers are starting to meet sellers at the current price and it's not a straight shot down anymore. You're kind of meeting 50-50. And with this push you see today, a couple pushes a couple weeks ago as well, you can see the bulls are really starting to take over this stock. This being said, first pick down in the books. Let's go ahead and bring the second one out. And second on the list is going to be Nokia. This is going to be ticker symbol NOK. And right off the bat, once again, you can tell based off of the overall long-term chart that based off of supply zones and demand zones, you are pretty deep or at least hugging around a demand zone. So anybody really buying the stock at around this price, if they're holding it for a long-term look of things, they are getting it currently at a discount. So Nokia is destroying their expected earnings per share by 800% two quarters ago, last quarter 100%, and they're also beating the revenue as well over these past couple of quarters. Even quarter four of 2020, they blew it out of the water, and just like BlackBerry, Nokia's main industry nowadays is not the phone business anymore. They are now tied into network and fiber solutions, and they also produce software and products for communications and information and technology. Banks, hedge funds, even Wall Street is not only starting to accept Nokia, they're slowly but surely starting to back it more and more and more which means that you're gonna get a lot of analyst upgrades and price targets. You're also gonna get a lot of analyst upgrades going from sell or hold to buy. And if I can bring you back into the most recent price activity, this little yellow box right here was the first ever video I made on Nokia. And you can tell with this gap up, with this gap up on earnings, there was a few analyst upgrades right here as well. And, and then you see another gap up here recently with their quarter two of 2021 earnings. You really do love to see it. It's finally over $8. It's vibrating above this range rather than falling below it. So it's currently setting up to retest this resistance many different times. And throughout this process, you're also making higher lows, setting yourself up to break over this all time resistance. And you can see very well for yourself, it's been a long time since Nokia has been up into this territory. In fact, the only time it ever has been up to this range recently was the January 27th squeeze, along with all of the other quote unquote meme stocks, meme runners. Just from two earnings ago, Nokia went from around $3.80, $4 flat if you will, to $6 over $6 in value, which alone is pretty much like 60 to 70% in gains. I see an extremely profitable next few years for Nokia since it's also such a cheap stock as well. It's been cheap for a long time. They're kind of keeping it at a certain valuation. The fact that it's showing true profitability in the world of finance, in the world of the market as well, it means a lot more people are gonna back it, go bullish on it, and nonetheless buy and just hold the stock. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and bring the final and third stock over. This one is gonna be a sleeper play, man. I'm gonna tell you right now. The third one on the list is gonna be Big Commerce, ticker symbol Big C. 
This stock is definitely more of a sleeper swing play, if you will. You could hold it for life, you could hold it for years, and you may still, and you may still see a lot of growth potential, but I'm looking at this more of a swing play. Personally, ever since August of 2020, I've already played this stock back and forth three times. And every single time I've been long and I've been able to close my trade with around 40% gains, uh, the first time I was up to around 50% gains. So hallelujah, you love to see it. And I don't see it stopping now, especially with you setting up to get another push. If I break it down into more recent price activity, the past year chart, if you will, you can see you were on a very long-term bearish trend. A one test, two tests, three tests, four. You ran a test for the fifth time and you got a clean pop over it. Now, of course, you want to wait for the confirmation, and that confirmation is simply going to be a break above $72 flat. You're already 3.3% up today at around $71.43. You just got a technical breakout with, a, with one daily candle popping above the resistance, which means that you also got another technical breakout above some of these last resistances as well. So you want to kind of hold above this range, start to use it as a support rather than a resistance, and that could set you up to getting to that first take profit point, second take profit, and third take profit as well. If you have balls of steel, then, <laughs> then third take profit point is gonna be the way to go. But if you were looking at a more conservative, higher risk tolerance, you don't wanna have the chance of possibly losing a lot of money. You should typically start taking profits at around these first two ranges. Big Commerce is in the software and programming industry as of right now, so really their only main competition that they have as of right now is going to be Shopify. The difference is, is BigCommerce works alongside thousands upon thousands upon thousands of customers. And a lot of these customers are businesses in itself. Just for a little small example, let's throw a, a five or four uh, companies out there that work alongside BigCommerce. You got Ben & Jerry's, you got Skull Candy, the headphone company, you got Sony, you got the National Baseball Hall of Fame, you got NBA teams. I think the, I think one of, I think the only one that I can currently remember right now is gonna be the Jazz and much, much, much more. If you wanna look at all the customers that BigCommerce does in fact have, you can simply just go on BigCommerce's website. You basically go on the main page where I'm at right now, you go to customer examples where it shows all their customers and it just shows all the different industries that they're tied into, the customers that they have. You can see National Baseball Hall of Fame right there, Skull Candy. It's an alphabetical order, so you can just scroll down and scroll down and scroll down. Find all the ones to help with that confirmation bias that you have maybe. <laughs> and just know that there's multiple pages as well. So regardless of all these customers though as well, you've gotten a lot of upgrades and price targets as well. And once again, with their only competition, their only true competition right now being Shopify, I really feel like BigCommerce is gonna have an explosive year, explosive next couple of months, if you will. So uh, stay tuned, this is a sleeper play. Before I head out, I'm gonna let you know right now that this is not financial advice. The plays that I'm putting out on this video today, I'm currently bullish on. However, for that disclaimer, I'm really not gonna be bullish on a stock that I don't personally see having strong growth potential. So without further ado, I appreciate you guys staying tuned for this nice little video. If you can like, share, subscribe, hit that bell as well. It'll help me out. It might help you out as well in the near future. The world just may never know. Stay safe out there as well. I won't be able to talk to you tomorrow. It's Friday, Junior, so tomorrow should be a nice chillax day, red or green or not. Just put your feet up and enjoy yourself. I could put videos like this right here out a month. I could put them out every couple of weeks. I could put them out one week. Y'all tell me. Go down in the comments below. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know on um, some things that I can improve on. And let me know on some things that you would want to see from me in particular. If you want to join the Shrew Gang, we have Discord down in the description. We also have the ability for you to hit that subscribe button. And it's that simple. You subscribe, you're a part of the Shrew Gang. Without further ado though, Shrew Gang, I'll catch y'all boy. Peace out. Uh... Shrew Gang.